So, so often we have plants that kind of look very similar to one another. And, and for um, today, I want to show you the difference between uh, two plants that, that look very similar. And these are um, essentially like when a milkweed isn't really a milkweed, okay? So we like to think of milkweeds, our pollinators are coming and we want to have those pollinator plants available to them. Um, but one in particular likes to really kind of take over. And I know we're in a grassland setting here, but this one likes to come into your garden as well. What are the similarities of these two plants? First off, here's our common milkweed that we like to have around. This is what our monarchs like to feed on. And this is what's known as hemp dogbane. Now, in the state, we have about 17 different milkweeds. In the state, we just have two different types of dogbane. This is hemp dogbane in particular. So they both have opposite leaves, very similar, right? And they both have a lot of creeping rootstocks. So that's how they reproduce on top of seeds as well. All right, but when we start looking at them even closer, we see that there are some differences. As you can see, the common milkweed doesn't start branching as you go up. It's a single stalk. And this hemp dogbane starts branching as you get um, closer to the top. And then if you look even closer, the petals look a lot different from one another. These have kind of single petals that are sticking straight up. And our common milkweed has petals that are um, actually pulled down. So they look very different when you get really up close to one another. Again, both of them have this super milky sap to it, so that's why I'm wearing gloves, because for hemp dogbane, this is one of the more toxic plants that I'm holding here. And so, um, and, and like I said, the monarch larvae don't like this plant. They do like the common milkweed. But again, once I start cutting them, they start kind of bleeding that milky sap. And so you wanna be careful when you handle this, because if you get that milky sap in your eyes or anywhere else, it's gonna cause some irritation. Even on skin, it can cause some irritation too. Now, the hemp dogbane definitely is very aggressive. Common milkweed, not as much, but hemp dogbane is the one that really starts spreading and starts taking over your garden or your other area, as you can see here too. Now, it does have pollinators that like to come to it, so if you want to keep it in check, you're welcome to keep it in your garden, but my suggestion would be to, to get it out. So in the fall, if you're unsure exactly what you have, this one starts putting on different kind of seed pods. They're long and slender. They'll start out green first and then turn into more of a, of a reddish brown color. And then the common milkweed will have almost like a teardrop shaped fatter pod to it. Both of them, again, being in the same plant family, have similar seeds um, that have this white fuzzy appearance to it. Now, to get rid of hemp dogbane, I would definitely, um, you can start pulling it, but remember, it's got a creeping root stalk, so you're gonna have to keep on it. And there are some chemicals that will help take it out, but you can really start working on it by hand. And, and but again, remember, those root stalks are gonna keep putting up plants for a while, but the seeds are very fertile too, um, and so it would be good if you, if you make sure that you get it before the seed sets. 